Yes, Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Hearts of Iron 4 series, playing as the German Reich, with the eventual goal of forming the Greater German Reich, as well as putting Himmler as the Führer. I didn't think about that for a second. Yeah, he's the Führer, isn't he? The leader of Nazi Germany is the Führer. So, long live the Führer, aka Himmler. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, wow. So many things have happened. Wow, so many things. So, we need a little recap of the world, don't we? So, Japan lost to China. Uh, Free France occupies all of Japan. Has Japan capitulated? And we have... Oh, the last war is the American-German war. Okay, right. Why hasn't Japan capitulated? Are they just about to capitulate? I think they might. Bulgaria would like to join the faction. No, it is going to be purely a Hungarian Roma Ro Romanian Hungarian Romanian faction. How are we doing with? Oh, we can actually start to integrate them a little bit more now in a moment. And we are going to integrate Vichy France too. Um. I think what we might do... So at this point, the major powers are the British Raj in the United States. I think what we're going to do is... Hmm... We have some mountain divisions, don't we? So we could, like, dedicate a mountain division to commit to either, like, Turkey or Iran... We did say we are going to attack China as well. We might as well just give them a shot. I want to test out see how strong China is in the new Wake in the Tiger DLC. I just want to give them a trial, you know? Just give them a little test to see what, how good they're going to be. The good news is, is the um, United States is very weak when it comes down to the Navy. So that's one less thing we have to worry about. And our Navy is very, very strong. Okay, wow, there's so many choices right now. Where do we go? Where do we go? Okay, so... Oh, if I go into this map mode, we can actually see land that we own and ones that are occupied land. Interesting. Interesting. The Polish war is not over, is it? Oh, wow. I'm really on the fence what we should do here. Do we do a cleanup where we try and clear our island? And the islands and push through Africa? I think what we should do is I'm going to attack Bulgaria. We got some mountaineers. Where's my mountaineers? The mountaineer here. Hey, Himmler! We're going to give Himmler a combination of mountaineers and tanks. Put you guys on this border here. And grab Zafia. So we're going to take out Bulgaria. Then we're going to take out Turkey. I realize now that we can kick people from factions, can't we? So technically we could invade Bulgaria. So we could invite Bulgaria and then invade them later, couldn't we? Huh. You know, just to cut out the fuss and just not stop messing around. We're just not going to do that. No, we're not going to do that. I realize I need an ex-mechanized as well. Can I make mechanized? Oh, they're all mechs. Oh, we're a little bit behind, though. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, right, so where's the Mountaineers? I realize we've got way too many divisions right now. Oh, the Mountaineers are here. There's not that many mountains here, is there? There's a little bit. Himmler, we need these troops in Europe now. So how many divisions have we got? We've got 12. So there's one somewhere else. Where is it? So this is our suppression force. You can command 72 and this 71. I think one of them died at sea. I want to find all of their fleet and eliminate it. We're going to go patrol. We've got a considerably larger fleet than theirs, so we're just going to hit them from afar. We can get some carrier twos. Oh my god, we've got so many carriers there. We're only going to get two more, because I think eight's the sweet spot. I don't know, in my head I've created that number of eight being the sweet spot. I'm not actually sure if eight is the sweet spot, but whatever. 
Um, we're boosting the oil there, aren't we? We're going to take some oil from Romania as well. Yes. Oh, perfect. And then Hungary and Almania. And there we go. We're almost balanced. Don't need as much tungsten anymore. Perfect. That's good. We're going to eliminate the rest of the British fleet, which is going to be beneficial. Oh, okay. Berlin just got nuked. Oh, my God. The, the graphics are a bit different for nukes. They're like It, like, really lit up, didn't it? Well, that's a tank division that's going to need uh, a lot of repairs. Nice. He's a field marshal. Uh, we'll give him his own theater. Himmler himself is going to do this. Uh, Panzer Group Z. Yes. He's going to be black. Yeah, so where is this one mountain division? Where is he? That's Heinz Guderian. I don't know where it is. This is only 11 divisions, so there's one missing somewhere. I wonder where it is. Get rid of that. Don't really care about the suppression. The music's a little bit loud. Some of the tracks in this game are considerably louder than the others, so it's, sometimes you get blown away by the volumes. Uh, what can we go for? Close air support's useful, logistics is useful, recovery rate's useful. Oh wow, a lot of these are actually really useful right now. We could do with the political... Was there a reason why we're sitting on political power? I can't even remember now. We could build Atlantic Wall as well. It's like... I wouldn't usually go for all of these, because these are... I don't know, these really don't give me that much benefit. But ah, forget it, we'll do them. We'll do them. We'll play the new DLC, guys. Let's try it out. So we're going to build the Atlantic Wall. The Atlantic Wall increases land fort construction by 20%, and it also gives a lot of free forts, right? Oh, this is the Ost Wall. So this is the Eastern Wall. Oh, so it builds a wall to the east. So I guess this is like after when the initial offensive against the Soviets, what didn't achieve all its objectives. Yeah, in that case, they... Uh... Yeah, in that case... Oh, okay, they've nuked that port. Oh, shit. Get rid of you. Go here. They're going to try and nuke here. Now, yeah, they go strategic bombers, Lancaster bombers. Where are they bombing from, though? Is it from Ireland? So, I think we need to... Uh, I think we should clean the islands up. Is it because we were... No, we're not. Where is that Mountaineer division? It's really bugging me. If you go into army, we should get the full breakdown, shouldn't we? Where is that... Mountaineer. There! Oh. No, that's not him. Oh, he's here. No. Oh, he's here. This is it. Oh, he's in Britain! Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm going to manually move him, though. Perfect. And then assign him to Himmler. Uh, what is this? This is a 20 width. We can't train anymore. We're at the limit. Alright, we've got the Max Light Cruiser now as well. I think we're going to go for the Landing Craft as well. We are going to get the next Mechanized as well. Japan wants a non-aggression pack. Japan is even, even alive. How are they still alive? Why haven't they capitulated? Where is Japan? They're 100% capitulated. Oh! So Italy is in the East Prosperity the Sphere. So therefore, they need to capitulate Italy before Japan will surrender. Right. How many ships has Japan got? Wow, loads! Okay. Interesting. Hmm. When does this expire? 18th of January, got another month. Uh, 
make some of those. We're going to make only one more, just battleship. Another light cruisers. For some reason it like cuts off the bottom of the screen every now and then. I don't know why it does that. There you go. Uh, can we make a variant? Yep. Super anti-air. Oh, actually, given the range is going to be worthwhile. Yeah, we'll do that. The smaller ships don't have as much range, so if we give them more range, then, well, we're winning. Uh, I think I might start sinking some of the old ships as well. Uh, I can get rid of this. So light cruisers, two more carriers, and we're filling them full of naval bombers. Perfect. Go for the logistics. We need the... Oh, that's a really high one. I think we're better off with the mechs. Are we all here? Yeah, we're all here. Let's go. And we're going to go for a force attack on Sophia. I realize we've not got any air coverage here. Attack them on to Himmler. We're actually going to sort of break through here, you know. Yeah, we are. What's the division templates? They're really dug in and they've got anti-tank. I bet they're not pacing the tanks, though. Oh, yeah, they are. Wow, really? Ah, oh, but this division's not full strength anyway. Well, this was a uh, interesting surprise. Okay, so what can we do now? Oh, that's why we were setting political power. We were saving political power so we can annex Vichy. Um, I think we're going to put it into making uh, Hungary a Reich protectorate. Alright, Himmler isn't doing very well, boys. In fact, we need to retreat. The division's got completely broken down due to... Yeah, the division's got like completely broken down due to the fact that um, we were doing a force attack. We were going to go for engines, weren't we? Let's do the engines then. Have we got any spare tanks? These are mountaineers. Don't need any Vichy French divisions. Oh, 14 stack of American troops. Nice. Is, are all my tanks have moved farther east? Oh, there's some here. Oh, we should give these to Himmler. Himmler's not actually a very good general. What I want to do, and this probably sounds silly, but... The reason why I've assigned Hitler, even though he's a terrible field marshal, is I want to grind him up and gain experience with him. It's mainly for role-playing purposes. It's not actually to play the game seriously. So right now, he currently is skill 1, and he has 17% towards skill 2. And so far, all he has is he is politically correct, or politically connected, um, and he's also a division recuperate charismatic. We're going to go for this one. This allows us, this is a weird national focus because it's a national focus that unlocks decisions and it lets you build nations within occupied territory for suppression reasons. Yeah, that's what it does. We'll make a few of them just for the lols, just to try it out, try out the new mechanics. What are we upgrading here? Oh, a battleship. Are we going to make like one, two ba big battleships? We really need some oil right now. Oh, we're not getting any Romania oil anymore. Have they closed their economy? No. Hmm. Okay. Venezuela. Iraq. That'll do for now. All right, have the tanks arrived yet? Yeah, we're here. No, not all of you. Just that front line. Push into here. Staff planning. And go. You can see the tanks initially make a massive push and do some really good damage. 
I think what we probably should do... Uh, no. I realize when a, when a general is underneath a field marshal, you can't assign divisions to the field marshal. I was hoping that because he's a field marshal, Himmler... No, I can't do that. Never mind. We got air control a little bit. Ooh, what's this? North American B-25 Mitchell. Is that like a tactical bomber? All right, we're going to do that. That's a very adventurous move, but we'll give it a shot. So now when a nation capitulates, it doesn't insta-die immediately. There's like a slight delay. I'm guessing their stability was a little bit low. Sweden is called... So Sweden... Hang on a second. Bulgaria has joined a faction, right? Yeah, they're in the Allies. So I've noticed that seems to happen more often now in this DLC, where the, a fascist nation will join an ideology that's not theirs, where factions before were kind of ide were kind of like ideologically pure. Like you wouldn't see, I don't know, the, the Britain join the Comintern unless they were communists, you know? What we got here? More factories, more mechs. Holy crap, we're making a lot of uh, motorized... Interesting. Yeah, we really need to move on to the better mechs. We're using really old mech right now. Our stability is very, very bad. I think we're going to improve working conditions. This damages factory output and consumer goods, but you gain more stability in the long run. So it'll get our stability up. Nice. Uh, we need more political power. Okay, this gives us increased destroyer and light cruiser efficiency. That one's the one we want, though. All right, we're going to look for enemy ships now. Zero, what, zero, zero. Zero, 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 zero. zero four. We'll go here, here, and here. Is there any here? No. Any here? No. Wow, there's not that many. Okay, so we can make fighter planes now. We, we went for the jet guy, didn't we? Oh, we went for nukes. Are we researching nukes? Yeah, we are. Oh, right. Didn't we research the nuke tech? Yeah, we did. Ah, so the next one is going to be a 50% boost. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. So they tried to land again, the Americans. We need to take out these islands. We'll, we'll need to secure Africa first. When we lock onto Africa, we'll be good. Need to get these guys out of green before we move forward. I don't want to charge. So I think the one rule of thumb is if you're going to use force attack, it needs to be a situation where you know you can win. Because otherwise, you're just going to burn loads of your divisions. Are you going to come or not? Where are you? 9900. There we go. Alright, stop exercising. Go here. Now stay there, please. Can you, like, go here? And then you, you guys go here. Will they do that? Yeah, they will. There you go. So one of them's gone back. They want to evenly divide them. I know what they're doing. Okay, long range fighters. We don't care about that. This is an ability to invade Switzerland. Should we do that? Improved national spirit gives more political power. What? Removes bitter loser. And it gains triumphant will, gains daily political power. Oh! You can only do that when you're when you're at peace, are we at war as well. Interesting. I'm gonna put you here to suppress. Oh, hang on. Oh, well, we were defending the coast because it's Italy that got capitulated. Okay. 
All right, here we go. We've not got air coverage because the AI has been a bit sloppy. Where's Rommel? Here he is. Not Rommel. Uh, Himmler. Oh my god, guys. Am I going to trigger you guys by calling Himmler Rommel? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright. Plan. Go here. Go here. This is going to be like the perfect Blitzkrieg, guys. They're going to be no not prepared for this. Alright, this is it, boys. Can we achieve our objectives? Okay, no more marching music. Do, 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 do. No. Nope. Ah, oh, the overrun. Oh, yes! Done. Alright, you've secured your objective. Go here, here, and here. You've secured your objective. Go to here. Then here, then here. Oh, hello! I forgot about this front line. Oh, it doesn't matter. Stability of 26%. Oh, damn. They're going to get destroyed. Can you, like, take the capital again, please? Ukraine invasion. Oh. Very nice. Go here. Alright, you guys go further east. There's a few British troops here that are reinforcing from Africa. Ah, I've forgotten about that, so maybe this isn't as easy a, a straight win as possible. Hmm. Can you, like, go here, please? And you go here. And you go here. There we go. This tank needs to connect up with these guys, too, because we're losing supply. We could do an air supply here, couldn't we? Where's my transports? Where are they? Oh, I think they might have got shot down at some point. Oh, okay. I guess what we could do is just make some more, couldn't we? There we go. <clears throat> They're very, very pricey. It'll take us a while to grind them out, but when we get them... Is that going to be enough? Are you going to capitulate now, or not? They're in supply, they're getting supplied through a port. Mm, getting around the back of you guys is going to be tricky. Oh my god, so many French troops. The whole French army is based in Africa right now. Alright, go here, here, and here. You do the same. I've retaken their capital again, nice. The AI, if you've noticed, they're very aggressive when they see an opening to push into now. They don't mess around when it comes down to, like, snaking. If you thought snaking was bad before, wow, it's way worse now. Uh, the AI, when it sees a gap in the front line, it will go for it immediately. It does not mess around. All right, 26 stability. How far away from capitulation? 74%. If they lose their capital again, I think we've got them. Oh, damn, boys. There's so many divisions. Stay here. Go here. This is Vichy France, this. They're moving a lot of divisions into position now. Oh, no, boys. Uh, El Salvador would like to send his divisions. I think not. Hungary would like to send us an expeditionary force. I think not. Himmler, you said you could do this by yourself. You didn't need anyone else. Oh, and Himmler's a wounded now. <laughs> he's not even level two yet. And he's got wounded. 
Oh no! Okay, go here, go here, go here. Oh, he's gonna recapture Izmir if I leave that open. Go here, you go here. This is gonna be tricky because we're pushing over a river, but I think we should be able to do it. Please be no divisions here. Oh, there's no divisions here. Okay. Come on, that's gonna be a capitulation, right? Where's Turkey? 94%. Go here. Go here. Launch an attack. Here. Here. Alright. <laughs> Oh, go by sea, that was a good idea. Bring our fleet over now. Oh no, we're gonna have to go all around Africa. Oh no. We've got no command power. That he's because he's sick. You can't use command power when a general's sick. There's this one we've not captured either. Go back to here. Go here. They're not in supply. We need to capture this really badly. Can we get it? That should be enough, right? They've got no other major cities. The reinforce here is just ridiculous. Come on, capitulate. So there's a slight delay now. When you get 100% capitulation, there's like a few seconds that count by before they insta capitulate, where before it was almost instantaneous. 91%? What have they captured back? Ah, oh, this is really bad. We're actually going to lose some divisions here. I thought this was going to be easy win, Himmler. I thought this was going to be an absolute easy win for the Reich. You have ashamed us. Ashamed us? Ashamed us. Alright, I think we need, probably need to attach more air wings as well. That's probably one issue we're having. I haven't captured this one either. That's one victory point. And we've lunched, lost a bunch of tanks. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Himmler, you had one job, dude. You had one job. Alright, okay. Um, let's go here. If he goes by sea, I'm going to be very upset. No, they're all going by land. That's good. Can we get roads, maybe? We need to push into them here and hold this piece of land. Oh, can we actually go over there? Oh, well, what do you know? There you go. Nice. Alright, let's do the, the frenzied micro. And make sure we hold all the ground. Play this like super micromanagement intensive. Even though I really didn't want to play this way, but I have no choice now. Micro is on. Yeah, I know. You guys in the comments are going to be really freaking mad. Like frailing your arms around like, Oh my god, FIBA Gaming, what are you doing? I wanted to see if I could do it with just Rommel. And I could see if I could push for the victory points. But we've learned a lesson. It, it's not as easy to push victory points anymore. See, I saw that um, stability 26%. I equated that to national unity like it used to be. But I don't know how this number translates to national unity anymore. I know stability is a factor in how quick a nation um, capitulates. But that number doesn't directly translate like it used to. So, well, we've evidently found that these things have changed. They're not the same way they used to be. Aggressive, go. These guys, you meant to be defending the coastline. Was I planning to do an amphibious invasion now? I think I was, wasn't I? I think I was. Yeah, there we go. I know I'm covering all the bases there, but we've got a lot of divisions, so why not? Uh, so, I can't actually see the reason why you'd ever have a field marshal on his own and not have a, a general with a field marshal over, over the top of him. It seems like that's the correct thing to do. 
Because he's a field marshal, but if you want to, you could have a, him above a general. I think the only time you'd ever want to do that is if... A, if, if... Yeah, the only time you'd ever want to do this and have a, gem, a field marshal on his own was if you had a very good field marshal. Because a field marshal above a general only gets half the field marshal stats, but they all stack. So he gets the general stats and half the field marshal stats. So it is kind of a good idea to have them all. Improved national spirit. We've got loads of PP now. All the PPs. Is there anything I'm missing? So we could invade Switzerland, which we will do at some point. Go for some naval dot yards that we're never going to use. Second Vienna award. I had some impression that Vienna award was in a different place before, but apparently someone someone told me in the comments that apparently it's not moved. And it's exactly the same place. I swear it was in the old days. I mean, really going back, fight. It was first Vienna award, then second Vienna award, then fate of Czechoslovakia. But that must have been like that must have been like a long time ago because I. Wow, I'm so used to the way it used to work such a long time ago, I've completely forgotten. I I'm assuming that's where it was on release, in on vanilla. But I, I could be wrong. Could be wrong, boys. I could be wrong. Oh, French divisions that we are never going to use. Oh. What's the subjects like? Hungary and Romania. Okay. Um... Yeah. So, not only does the AI improve against you, but it also works for you if you're using the AI battle plan. So, they'll use the AI that the AI would normally use anyway. So, there you go. Win-win. Oh, there's another island here. That's the only problem with invading Turkey. There's, like, there's so many little islands all over the place. Turkey has capitulated. Thank goodness. What is this mess? What is this? All right, so we need a front line to be based here, and then here. Uh, but there needs to be the odd division left behind to hold these areas. Uh, we should probably give these to another general, shouldn't we? Yeah, we probably should give this to another general. Go here. Go here. This guy goes here. Oh, he's part of the Himmler's crew. Go here, delete this. Go here, stop. Have I done this right? You're here. You're here. Okay, we're going to wrap this one up here anyway. So what I need to do is... I need to do two things. I need to move my navy to the med and defend this area. Which is something I want to do, but unfortunately I have to go through and around the Cape because I don't have access to Gibraltar. Um, or... Well, I just do it single-handedly by pushing in by myself. To take care of these pockets, though, which is a bit annoying. Yes. Himmler. Himmler. Not only have you gotten wounded... But also, you're a very pretty crummy field marshal. I want to stick with him alone, just for the challenge reasons. I mean, we are playing an elite difficulty, so why not go all the way and just make it as tricky and hard as possible? And him by looks of things. Oh, he's about to level up. So what happens when he levels up is he gains one extra one of these points in one of these areas. It's completely random. Yeah, so when he levels up, he will gain... There you go. So after leveling up, a general will gain three... Oh, three! Three random stat points. These type of of traits that general has to increase the chances of gaining a point in relevant also oh, apparently due to what you select here can affect what points they roll into okay well i didn't know that i guess if you go for offensive doctrine you more like to roll an attack i'm guess probably anyway guys if you enjoyed this episode remember to like and to subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes and i hope you have an awesome day see you soon bye, -bye.